So in this section, I'm going to show you how to set up emissive channels uh, to add a little bit of lighting to your assets in Substance Painter. Now, as standard, there isn't any emissive channels in Substance Painter. Uh, it will export out, but you need to add it first, much like an opacity channel. So if we come down to our texture set settings, we can see that we have these channels here as well as our mesh map. So at the top, we have base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. And these are the base channels that will be exported when we come to export our channels after we finish painting. So we need to add an emissive channel in here. So if we go to the plus box at the corner, we can scroll down, we've got a lot of different options here. We want to find emissive. Now we've got emissive here. So if we come back to our layers and we add a new layer, you can see at the top here, as well as color, height, roughness, metal, and normal, we also now have emissive. So we can turn off the rest of these and we can create a an emissive channel here so just like with other stuff uh, I'm going to change the emissive base color first to white now you can have blue lights and red lights and all this kind of stuff but it's it's a good idea unless you know exactly what color they want to be with a lot of stuff it's a good idea to just make it white because an emissive channel will export as a separate map and you can then use that map uh, to change the color in UE4. So uh, if you have a white as you start in base, you can add a little bit of color to that to change it quite easily and select the color in UE4. This gives you the opportunity to change colors. For example, if this was an ammo can and uh, red was depleted and blue or green was full, then you could actually change those colors on the fly in UE4. Uh, and you can do it if you do have another color, it's just it's harder to, uh, to manipulate because you have to do some guesswork. Okay, so we've got this white channel here and I'm going to add a black mask to this and then I want to make something glow. So I need to pick something here. I've not really got anything super appropriate, but I'm just going to make this vent glow. So I'm in the black channel here. I'm going to go down to add a paint and then in this paint, I'm going to pick a brush, just a hard round brush, make that roughly the same shape of this vent and then stamp that in there and that will be our emissive glow. So now if we come back to our emissive channel here, we change the color of that, we'll be able to see then different colors of that emissive. And we've got now an emissive layer channel as well, so we can turn down the intensity of that as well if we want. So we're gonna keep it on full because this is really just a mask for the emissive glow that we can then alter in UE4. Uh, but if we wanna actually see the effect of the glow, so it's not just a simple color, blue, white, red, whatever, uh, we change, change this to red for now. Uh, what we can do, we can actually set up Substance Painter to show that off a little bit nicer. So to actually visualize this a little bit better in Substance Painter, we want to go to our windows. We want to go to view and we want to find display settings. And in display settings, we want to scroll down until we find activate post effects. So we tick that on and then activate post effects. So we tick that on and then go down to glur and tick that on and we'll start getting a bit of a glur coming from this. Uh, we want to go down to lens flare and change that to bloom. And then if we go back to our window and go to views and find shader settings. We have an emissive intensity slider here so we can turn that up and we can start getting some uh, emissive come from that. And we can just tweak these settings to get something that we're happy with. And we can change the color in the emissive as well if you want to see what it would look like with say a red light. Or a green. So it's really easy to start adding lights to your scene. Um, little tiny buttons and stuff, glowing buttons and maybe some LED lights, strip lights, stuff like that. Anything that you want to get from a texture. And of course you can also set that up to actually uh, produce light in your UE4 scene as well. So if you want to see what that actually looks like, if we go down to a missive map here, we can see that it is literally, it will just be a black map with the color that you've selected for the emissive section there. So really simple to set up.